Jesse, AI has a ton of promise from healthcare breakthroughs to obviously efficiency breakthroughs. Uh, what do you need to run AI? You, you got to have power. Yep. Right. So here's a here's a thought um, from Satya Nadella, Microsoft CEO, pretty smart guy. He says, real constraint is not compute, but power and data center space. So fascinating. Uh, there's fights over this, this, this power source. So if you look at McKinsey's study, 2025, 5.2% of power demand in the United States is going to data centers. That's going to over double by 2030. And so the question to me is who's going to pay for that and who has control of it? It looks like in this next slide that four companies, Google, Microsoft, Meta, and Amazon, all so far control about 42% of U.S. data center capacity. So presumably, they're the ones that have gotten to the power first. They've kind of cornered the power market right now for those data centers and, uh, and and obviously are using it for their own benefit. And I mean, regional infrastructure is what this is all about when you get right down to it for yeah, power. I know what we're thinking is, are we as power users ourselves going to kind of subsidize these build outs? Right. And, and the truth is probably so. So how do we play that? Yeah. Anyone losing their job doesn't want to be the one paying for AI uh, data center right. build out. So. So that's going to be interesting to navigate with the the power companies and gets to the, kind of the whole U.S. mess, yeah, right, yeah. Uh, yeah. of power and the power grid and all that. This next chart has to do with China versus U.S. It looks like the net addition in power generation capacity in the United States, or, or rather China, China is about 14x that of the United States. Did a little reading on this. They have brought solar big time over in China. They obviously have the natural resources to build those solar panels. And while it's not a long lasting... <laughs> I don't know if they have the sunshine, though, with, well, the, with the smog. Be, They've got the, you know, uh, I, I read that solar is maybe not a long-term solution, but it's bridging the gap for them right, right now. And, and maybe that's a solution that U.S. needs to, to implement. And this last uh, graphic is, is what's so fascinating to me about the long run. Bezos from Amazon is out there talking about how the only logical solution in the long Long run is to go to space to cut cooling costs. It's cold in space. And that's power a big those data center. Yeah. Right. And then power the data centers with endless solar power because there's no rain, no clouds, no smog yeah. in, in space. So all fascinating, but it really it really seems that we need to be paying attention to all the generation of power in the next five ish plus it, it, it years. It seems like it's probably the next AI leg. Yep. Yep.